Hey guys, it's me, Ms. Norris, and today I'd like to do a short drawing activity with you called Yes, You Can Draw a Bat, because yes, you can draw a bat, and today I'm going to show you how to do it in some very easy to follow steps. All you're going to need is something to write on. Today I'm going to be using my dry erase board and something to write with. Today I'll be using my dry erase marker. If you're ready to get started, so am I. Let's do this. So the first thing you'll notice is that my board is horizontal because I, my bat is going to have a, a wing span. So I need a little bit of space on the sides to make my bat wings spread out. But it's very easy. Are you ready? The first thing we're going to do is kind of right in the middle of our paper, but towards the top, top middle, we're going to draw, start by drawing a circle. This is going to be our bat's face. And that's an excellent start. We're going to start with our, our the middle and work our way out. Then from our circle, we're going to make like a long fat U. Just like that, a long fat U. On the bottom of our long fat U, we're going to draw three itty bitty toes on each side. These are our claws, our, t our picker uppers, because bats use their feet to pick up things. Next, we're going to add some ears to our bat. So right at the top of our circle, we're going to make two lines that kind of go straight up. And then from the top of those lines, you're going to kind of curve down, curve down. So one of them almost looks like a capital D. And then a little line in the middle. Those are its hearing ears. Next, we're going to go ahead and add our wings. Are you ready? What we're going to do is from the top of our ears, we're going to come out about middle of the paper and we're going to make one dot and we're going to do that on the other side as well. And we're also going to make one dot that's down at the bottom right in the middle of our bat's body. So from here, we're going to start right below its ears and make a swooping line that comes up. We can do that on the other side together, just below the ear and a swooping line up to our dot. Then we're going to Bring this line straight, almost straight down. We're almost making a tri an upside down triangle. But here we're going to come straight down, straight down. So you can kind of start seeing that it's making some bat wings. And then we're going to make kind of half circles all the way down. I'll show you. It's easy. We're going to say bloop, bloop. And this third bloop is going to land on this dot. Bloop. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Bloop, bloop, bloop. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just trying to connect here in the middle. And those dots really kind of give you an idea of where you're going to start and where you're going to finish. But these don't look so much like bat wings right now. It looks more like a cape. So we're going to add some lines or some veins into our bat wings. We're going to start at this dot up at the top. And we're going to come down to our corner of our circle. And we're going to do it again and even one more time. You see how that works? Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Down, down, down. And then you can make one straight line down there in the middle. And there you have your wings. All that's left is our, our wonderful bat face. So we're going to start at the top of our circle, making two more circles. And don't forget your pupils for your bat's eyes. So far, so good. Next, we're gonna make our nose. Our nose for our bat is going to be an upside down U, almost like a sad face. But if you add some nostrils, then that's our bat's nose. And last but certainly not least, we're gonna add a bat's mouth. Now, for those of you who spent some time drawing with me, you'll know that any time I spend drawing with you is a time that makes me happy. So I'm going to try and make my bat as smiley as possible. So I'm going to start by making a smile across my bat's face. I'm going to turn it up a little on each side. And the last step, I'm going to add two upside down triangles <clears throat> for its fangs or its teeth. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, you can draw a bat because you just did. Now, the first time it might not be perfect and it might not be perfect every single time, 
But once you have the basic idea, you can make as many bats as you want. You can make big bats and small bats and green bats and blue bats and ding bats if you wanted to. All you need to do is have the basic idea and then let your creativity and your imagination run wild. If you had fun drawing a bat with me today, please hit that thumbs up button at the bottom of the page. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for drawing with me and I really appreciate your support. If you're not a subscriber yet, please click that subscribe button down there at the bottom of the page and don't forget to click the bell so that you're notified when there's new content. I hope to draw with you again real soon. Bye-bye.